What's up guys, looking forward to go over this workout. So the main purpose today is going to be slowing us down and working your stability and your overall core strength. Okay, so that's going to be your focus. So we're not really going for speed. I'm going to give you guys time frame and you're going to perform the exercises over and over. So it's going to be 60 seconds for each exercise. You're going to be doing station one. It's going to be five different exercises. You're going to be doing 60 seconds of each. Then you're back to the top and you're doing the same thing again. Then you're gonna go to station number two, five exercises, two times, 60 seconds each. Station number three, same formula. So everything's gonna be per time today, okay? So we're gonna start on the first station and we're gonna start with kettlebell swings that I know a lot of you guys have done it. So I'm not gonna spend too much time, so quickly let's review that. So for the kettlebell swings, guys, it will look just like this. Okay, you're gonna be doing this for one minute long. So the main purpose is going to be, of course, training the push your muscles. And because it's time frame, usually you're gonna be doing way more reps than you would be doing in a regular workout. So you're gonna be averaging about 30 all the way to 45 repetitions within the 60 seconds. Biggest cue is just make sure your chest is up, long spine, shoulders down, and if the 60 seconds is too long for you, after 30 seconds, put it down and then pick it up again whenever you guys are ready, okay? So I'm gonna put this aside for now. Then after that, guys, you're gonna go into your kneeling single presses. So all you're gonna need is going to be one dumbbell. You're gonna be in a kneeling position and it looks just like this. You're gonna be doing this in one side for 30 seconds and then the other side for 30 seconds. Main purpose is going to be training a lateral line and your shoulder strength. So my setup, as I told you, is a 99 degrees right from here. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell to a rack position. So my fist is facing up and my knuckles are facing you. I'm going to rotate, bringing my biceps all the way towards my ears and coming back. Like I said, after 30 seconds, we're gonna alternate to the other side, okay? Biggest common falls are gonna be elevating the shoulders too much. So make sure your shoulders are nice and away from the ears and your arms are very long. Progression is going to be able to increase load. So this is a perfect way for you guys to work on your shoulder strength without putting too much pressure on your shoulders. So you guys are gonna be doing one side and then the other side to um, really regress the movement. It's just gonna be reducing load. So if you're not very strong in one side, don't go as heavy as you usually would. Okay, if you're very strong through your shoulders, then you can definitely increase your load. Next one, we're gonna be working with your bands, okay? So for your bands, guys, um, we're gonna, we've done this actually once before in another workout, something very similar. So you're gonna step the feet on top of the band and I'm gonna cross it over. The exercise is gonna look just like this, team. Okay, the main purpose of that is going to be training your legs and your glutes and your AB and AD doctors. So we're really training all those muscles around your legs, including your glutes. So set up, I like to put the band underneath my feet, just about in the middle of my shoes. Now I'm gonna hold the hands and I'm gonna cross it over to create a little more tension. From here, you guys are gonna go into a nice squat. As you go up, you're gonna lift that one leg into the corner and then you're gonna repeat other corner. Again, you're gonna be doing this per time, okay? If you don't have this band, you can also have that band that, it con that is all connected. You can put around your ankle and you will be doing the same exactly thing. This is a fantastic work for your glutes, guys. And anyone that loves doing squats and love doing like burpees and walking lunges, the high intensity training stuff, this is things that you don't usually do but that you need to do. So please make sure you guys really spend time in here. Again, you're going to be doing it for 60 seconds. The biggest common falls is when you squat, losing that beautiful squat. So make sure your knees are out, your chest is up, you have a long spine. So if I was facing this way so you guys can see, I will be pushing my leg to the corner of the room. Okay? So that will be your band squat leg lift. For the next one, guys, we're going to be going into our band sit-up. Again, we've done a couple of uh, sessions prior, but we're going to revisit that with you guys, just so you remember. I'm moving myself away a little bit.
okay main focus of that guys is going to be training your abdominals and of course control into your lower back so my setup is going to be my leg super super straight and i'm going to reach hands up from here i'm going to release everything down and i'm going to lift everything back up so i want you guys to imagine that you are bringing your feet and your hands together and then your feet and your hands apart that way you can really be trained to your anterior and your posterior core cues again just make sure you guys have a nice long spine so you're not moving your neck you're just moving your body as one unit and you're slowly releasing that body far apart okay so that will be your band basic guys next one we're going to be going into your dumbbell okay you're going to need two dumbbells those are going to be your dumbbell deadlift single rows so it looks just like this Alright guys, the main purpose of this is going to be training your hamstrings and training your upper back muscles, okay? So we do a lot of pushing, we need to make sure we pull as well. So my setup for this, guys, is going to be my feet, I'm going to make my hips, nice long spine, I'm going to go into my deadlift. I'm going to pull one arm, then pull the other arm, and I'm going to stand back up, okay? I'm going to repeat this per time. If your lower back is really, really weak, you're going to realize after a while you're going to feel that burning through your lower back. So just make sure... You embrace the abs, you relax the shoulders, and as you pull, please make sure you have a nice long spine so you're not really swinging through the movements, okay? Those are going to be my cues and the common falls to progress this movement. You can always just increase the load, so go heavier, all right? So, I'm going to quickly go over again what we just went over, guys. First station, you guys are going to start with that kettlebell swing. After the kettlebell swing, you guys went straight into your single presses, right? In one side and single presses in the other side. And when you guys finish with that, you had your band squat with the leg lift. Then you had your band sit up. Then you finished up what we just did, which was your dumbbell, oh, sorry, your dumbbell deadlift single rows. That will be your station number one. Now we're gonna go to station number two. Station number two, we have one arm kettlebell swing. So I know we've done it, but let's revisit. And the main focus of that is gonna be training through your pusher, your chain, of course, your lateral core. Set up, I went over this yesterday, is gonna be having a kettlebell facing this way. You're gonna be swinging the kettlebell in between your legs lifting and then alternating the hands if you don't like alternating stay on one side going to the other side cue just make sure you have a long spine so you're not arching through your back and embrace the abs the abs is what's actually going to stop that kettlebell from going too high okay so really suck that belly in after that guys we're going to go into your side plank which look just like this You're gonna be doing one, one side for 30 seconds, and then you're just gonna alternate to the other side for 30 seconds. Main focus, guys. Every single muscle that is close to the floor is gonna be your focus. So we're gonna focus on the stability through your shoulder. We're gonna be working, of course, on that lateral line, okay, that is nice and close to the floor. So my setup, first I put my feet together, okay, one on top of the other, and then I'm gonna lift my hip, hands are up. From here, I'm going to try to either stay here. If that's going to be very intense for you, you can stay here. If not, you can also progress by lifting the top leg. If by doing any of those two, you're sinking the hips too much, all you have to do is put your knee down, extend that leg, and arm stays up. You're going to get the same effect, but with less intensity, which is totally okay if that's what you guys are today okay like i said you guys are going to be doing this in one side then you guys are going to be doing this in the other side for the next one guys we're going to be going into your dumbbell squats okay dumbbell trunk squats so i'm going to be holding the dumbbell with one side and it's going to look just like this I'm going to be doing this in one side and then in the other. The main focus is going to be a very similar focus that we actually worked on that band with your squats. We're going to be training your abductors and your abductors, and we're just adding a little more load to train your lateral core. 
So my setup is going to be my feet underneath my hips. So I'm going to have the dumbbell nice and close to me. Now, my left toes are going to be facing you while my left, yeah, while my right is going to go to the corner. I'm going to sit down or as low as I can with my chest up, come back in, and then maintain the same side. Once I'm done, I'm going to switch to the other side and do exactly the same thing. We're going to be doing this for 30 seconds in each side. If you prefer out today, that's okay, but it's just a little awkward moving from side to side. So I prefer staying one side and then going to the other. The biggest common flaws are, you know, not working properly on your squat. So make sure you know everything that I talked to you guys before. Knees out, chest up, long spine. To progress this movement, you can simply first work on your range of motion, increasing range. Second, you can increase your load. I prefer not to go fast. I prefer just increase load and range for this particular exercise, okay? The next one, guys, is going to be our Swiss ball alternating legs. So some of you guys have done this before, and I quickly review again. If you don't have a Swiss ball, guys, there's no issues at all. You can simply use it with just your hands, okay? So I'll show you guys with the Swiss ball. Okay, Swiss ball alternating legs. So main focus is going to be coordination and abdominal control. So my setup is going to be holding the Swiss ball with my feet and with my hand at the same time. So I'm lifting my shoulders, lifting my head. From here, I'm gonna choose one arm and my opposite leg is gonna go down together with my head. I'm gonna come back in, lifting my shoulders and I'm gonna alternate. Okay, if you don't have a Swiss ball, you would just use your hands and you would alternate down and up. Now, the reason why the Swiss bow is so good is because it makes you squeeze your thighs together. That means you're going to have, of course, more engagement through your adductors, the muscles in the inside of your thighs. You do this per time. Biggest common falls is going to be not lifting your head when you're crunching. So make sure you guys lift the head. Almost like you're going to go get the ball. Okay, so those will be my cues. Can you go get the ball with your hands? Not bringing it to you, actually going to get it with your hand. Biggest progression is going to be be able to actually drop your leg really low. So if I'm here, okay, dropping the leg really low and your hands and your arms really straight and then going up to get it. By dropping the legs low, you're also training your lower back muscles, and that's definitely something that we want to work on. Okay, the next one either you're going to be doing your Swiss ball plank, okay, or you're going to be doing your kneeling rollouts. If you have this at home, that's what you're going to be using. If not, you're just going to be doing a Swiss ball plank. So for the Swiss ball plank, it'll look just like this. It is what it sounds like. It's just a Swiss ball plank. <laughs> Main focus is going to be your abdominals and your shoulder stability, okay? Setup is going to be your forearm on, sorry, forearm on the ball, thumbs are facing up, and toes just about outside of the hips, shoulders down away from the ears. Now, if you have the kneeling rollout, close this door. <laughs> if you have this, you can be using as a kneeling rollout, which will look just like this. Right, and I'll show you the side view as well. Alright guys, the main purpose of this is really getting great, great work into your shoulder stability and your anterior core strength. It's probably one of my favorite abdominal exercises. So my setup will be my toes on the floor, my knees on the floor, hands just about outside. From here, I'm going to drive my hip and my chest at the same time towards the floor and then I'm going to tuck everything in as I go up. So you want to try to make sure your butt is the last thing to come up. Biggest home falls is going to be going and not be able to come back or going and then coming back with your butt first. So make sure that that does not happen. 
biggest progression is going to be what I just showed you guys, this range of motion, being able to actually go really far. Regression, it means if you can go that far with control, reduce the range of motion, don't go as deep, okay? So cues, just make sure you guys really tuck your abs and your butt in so everything is nice and stable. Alright guys, so that was the last exercise of your station number two. So we had your one arm swing, then you guys also had those side planks, right? We did side planks on the right, we did it on the left as well. We had those dumbbell trunk squats, we did one side or the other. Then you had the Swiss ball exercise, those one leg sit-ups. And then we finished up with either your Swiss ball plank or with those kneeling rollouts. So now we're going to go into your last station, okay? The first thing we're going to be doing in the last station is going to be some dumbbell single presses. So, it's going to be all about control, so let's go over that. Wow, I see the Swiss ball and I almost fall. So let's try that again. It's like the Swiss ball is alive today. There we go, that's better. All right, guys. You're gonna be doing this in one side, then you're gonna be alternating to the other side. Main purpose is exactly what just happened, right? It's instability. So I'm gonna have work on my stability through my ankles, through my knees, through my hips, and then I'm also trying to be stable while pushing over the head. So my setup is gonna be back hand holding the dumbbell, front leg is on the floor. I'm going to first perform a deadlift, which I know you guys done it before. Now, as you go up, you guys are gonna curl the dumbbell and then gonna push the dumbbell over your head, okay? The biggest regression is gonna be pretty simple. You're going to perform a deadlift, then you'll put your foot down, you would curl and you would press. So if you feel extremely unstable as you're doing it, then just make sure you put your feet down. If you are okay of working on your stability, then you can lift, keep control, curl, and press. All right, you're gonna be doing 30 seconds on one side, guys, 30 seconds on the other side. Again, biggest progression regression, I told you guys, right, is just the stability. If you are stable, you can increase slope. If you're not stable, you can always touch the floor before you press, or you can even do it just with your hands and work on your range of motion. Next one, it's a very simple exercise that I like it very much. So you're gonna keep the dumbbell, push your lunges, we're going to be doing this in one side, then in the other side. Main focus now is going to be your hip stability, glute strength, okay? So set up feet underneath your hips, chest is tall, holding the dumbbell. I'm going to lunge into a push here, lunge, coming back in, and then I'm going to repeat the same thing. To progress this, guys, we're going to work on your instability by lifting that knee. So you lunge, lift the knee, and then once you're done for 30 seconds, you do 30 seconds the other side. Biggest common falls would be losing control, of course, or letting your knees move forward. So a cue that I often like to use is make sure your knee is really level with your ankle, so never press that forward. Okay, so those would be the common falls in my cues. To progress, you can simply increase that load. You can grab a kettlebell if you want, or increase the dumbbell, or you can just lift the leg, as I told you guys. Next exercise, guys, is going to be your plank rows. I really like this. It's very simple, but it's a very, very beneficial exercise. So it looks just like this. All right, guys, the main purpose is going to be stability and control into your lateral line. So to really to your abdominals and a great, great exercise for your shoulders to be stable. So I'm gonna start in plank position, a nice long spine, flat back, and from here, I'm just gonna be lifting my hand, palms facing, sorry, palms open, and I'm gonna lift that hand towards my chest. So from that plank, I'll bring my hand towards my chest, slowly come back down towards my chest, and come back down. Again, nice long spine will be my cues, biggest progression will be closer your feet is together, 
harder it will be for you to maintain control. So if you're out of control, bring your feet, meaning if, you're, if your hips are out of control, uh, bring your feet a little bit wider. If not, then bring your feet a little bit closer together so you have great stability. For the next one, guys, we've got two more exercises to go. You guys are gonna go into your dumbbell crunches, which looks just like this. Right, you're gonna be doing this on one side and then the other side. Main focus of that is actually not only just abs, it's really training into your, all your posture, your muscles, so the muscles in the back of the shoulders to be stable, and also the muscles just about underneath your wings. So my setup is whatever knee is bent, that is the dumbbell that I'm holding on that same side. Okay, nice long spine. I'm going to have my opposite hand kind of sliding through my leg. I'm gonna release myself down. And then I'm going to lift myself up. Again, 30 seconds on the right, 30 on the left. If you're not used to doing this movement, please take the weight away. You can simply use your hands and keep it over your head and you're still going to get a great workout. If you realize that your shoulders are very stable and you're feeling very, very strong, you can always increase the load to create a little more pressure into your abs and to your posture, your muscles as well. Last exercise, guys, is going to be as simple as a side raise. So I'm going to have only one dumbbell, and the reason why I do this is so I can really focus on my unilateral strength. So side raises, look just like this. I'm going to be doing 30 seconds on one side, then I'm going to be doing 30 seconds on the other side. Main focus is going to be isolating the medial part of your shoulder, so your medial deltoids, okay? We push a lot, that is your anterior. We were pulling a lot today, that is your posterior. Now we're gonna be working on the lateral. So my setup is feet into hips, nice long spine, dumbbells by my side. Without tilting, I'm just gonna to try to lift my arm to around 90 degrees, okay? If you go a little bit over, it's okay. If you're a little bit under, it's okay. But you're gonna try to aim for just about 90 degrees, okay? So cues that I would say to you guys, is just try to make sure you're nice and stable. So no leaning to the side, okay? Because we really wanna make sure you have a nice long spine and you're not swinging through your body. After a while, people do this a lot, right? So make sure that your body is not moving, only your arms are elevating. If you're doing it right, you're gonna realize that after 15 seconds, the dumbbell is gonna start feeling pretty heavy. That's how you know you have the right load. So progression, progression, guys, is going to be your load, okay? I like to go pretty light on those side, um, those lateral shoulder, you know, uh, elevations, just because I know that I wanna control the movement. So those will be your progressions and regressions of this exercise. All right, team, so that was your low-impact um, workout. It is very, very nice. I did this workout earlier today. Uh, I love this stability through my shoulders, through my ankle. I got some great abdominal training as well. You can be training the same way every day, right? So I know a lot of you guys are getting seven days of a workout. It does not mean that you have to use seven days in one week. It just means that I'm giving you different options so you can apply to your daily workout and so you can figure out how you feel sometimes too, you know? If you did a really long run, it might be a good idea for you to do a workout like this. If maybe you didn't do a long run or you did some bike riding, maybe you can do some high impact in the same exact day. So, and then of course, take your days off when you need it. Anyways, guys, um, it's great to spend time with you guys, although I'm not seeing you, but you're seeing me. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again, all right? So get ready in three, two, one, go.